This is MathGuide.com and my name is Mark Karadimos. We're going to take a look at complex numbers and talk about how to add them. I have got two problems already written down, so uh, let's take a look at problem number one right here. Um, I want to take a look at this uh, and first tell you that these problems uh, have complex numbers. Complex numbers have real parts and they have imaginary parts. The imaginary part is the part with the I. The real part is the part without the I. So we say that these two are written in what's called A plus BI form because you got the real part and you got the imaginary part. Alright, so once their uh, complex numbers are in A plus BI form, we could add them. Now we're going to take these two problems which uh, right now are written down in horizontal form. They're kind of spread across to the right. We're going to change that. We're going to change them so that they're vertical, going up and down. Now we did this lesson before with uh, operations on com. Uh, I'm sorry, operations uh, with polynomials. Uh, you know, addition on polynomials, and it works pretty much the same way. So what I want to do is take the second polynomial, this complex number, and I want to place it underneath the first, and I'm lining up like terms. Uh, you know, this is kind of a basic operation for algebra, lining up this whole like terms business. So even if you didn't know much about complex numbers, you should know to line up the like terms. So negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. 5 plus 2 is 7. And there you have it. That's the answer. All done. Our answer is in A plus BI form. We have our real part. We have our imaginary part. We're done. All right, let's go over to our second problem. Again, the problem is written out in horizontal form. We're going to change that, and we're going to change it so that it is in vertical form. All right, we're going to take our second complex number, and we're going to write it underneath the first. So lining up again like terms. So I could really should be able to hand this problem to an eighth grader, uh, anyone who knows basic uh, algebra, they would understand to line up the like terms. All right, so I'm going to add those two together. Negative 8 and negative 3 makes negative 11. I'm going to add negative 9 and 4. It makes negative 5. And there you go. My answer is right there. And you can see that this is also written in A plus BI form. We're done. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out all our interactive quizzes, lessons, and other videos. Take care.